Good morning, it's time for another What I Ate Today video and today is going to be quite a strange one because I'm all alone. Luca has gone to Italy for a couple of weeks and so it's just me and the five animals and nobody else. So I have already meditated. I'm trying out a new meditation from um, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza and it's awesome. So it was my first day today. I've just gone for a walk with Julieta for around 20 minutes because later on it's going to be unbearably hot. So imagine this, it was 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. in the morning and it was already 31 degrees Celsius. So during the day it's going to be like maybe 40 degrees. So yeah, lovely start to spring I would say, lovely start to March. And right now I'm about to exercise, I'm really hot, I'm already pretty tired from the walk in the super heat. But Let's see how much I can exercise. I just want to get my heart rate going and just to, you know, just to move a little bit. I'm not going to push myself too much. And then I'm going to make a lovely breakfast. I think I'm going to make a porridge, even though it's hot outside. Okay, so now I'm preparing the porridge. I've just put the rolled oats inside. And the next step is the milk. Okay, I've got a cup of milk. Then I think I'm going to add some raisins, just a handful of raisins, because I don't have any bananas, so raisins will do and then I always 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 add some organic cinnamon and finally some salt I use Himalaya salt most of the time I'm going to stir it and leave it there cooking I'm going to leave it at a very very slow fire so that it cooks for around 20 minutes that's how long I need to finish my exercises I also have my tea and this is a licorice tea my favorite tea for the mornings at the moment. It just gives me so much energy because it raises cortisol levels. Now, let's set up the camera for the workout and let's work out. Julieta, are you going to join me? Are you going to join me? Julieta. Workout done! I'm so hot. Now, if my kittens let me, I'm going to have my breakfast. So we've got my porridge here, and the licorice tea, I've got Pilar, and I've got Manessa. And Manessa is lying down on my notebook because I'm going to, well, I'm trying to plan out my day and the most important task that I want to complete today. Because as I said on Instagram, I really want to be very productive during these 13 days of being without a husband at home. So, if Bilal lets me, then I want to plan my day. Will you let me? Little girl! Nom 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 nom! You look so good! Vanessa! Vanessa! Little girl! Thanks for the gift you brought me! Thanks for the gift you brought me! This is what she brought me, a little mouse that she loves and she plays fetch like a dog. Vanessa, here's your mouse. You want to play? Come. Hey, Vanessa. Look, 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 look what's going to happen now. Vanessa, run. Here you go. And then she brings it back to me. Oh, no. <laughs> she brought it somewhere else. <laughs> She's so cute. Isn't she beautiful? My biggest girl. Look at those sky blue eyes. Okay, so now it's lunchtime. Quite a late lunch for me, but oh well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook a sausage. Actually, a couple of sausages, even though I'm probably going to eat one. But I don't want them to go bad, so I'm just going to cook both of them. 
Then what I need to do is punch them with a fork, just like that. I should probably do it outside of the pan, but oh well. And then the secret to nicely cooked sausages is a bit of water. Just to cover maybe a quarter of the sausages. And then I'm going to close with it and cook it like that for around 15 minutes. And now the next job is making the bread. So I've just got one last step remaining for the bread. I just need to add 22 grams of salt and 50 grams of water and then knead everything. Okay, 23 grams. Can never be too much salt for me. I love salt. And then the last thing is the water. And this method, if you're wondering, is from the Tartine book that I mentioned in my February favorites. It's a different method from the one I used to use. I'm just, you know, I really like experimenting, I really like doing new things, so that's what I'm trying out now. And once I master it, I'll definitely share it with you in a separate video. I'm also soaking some white beans for later on in the evening. For the evening, I think I'm going to make a lovely Spanish stew, and I'll definitely show you how I'm making it. And today, by the way, I want to show you this. It's actually really, really hot outside, like 36 degrees. And there, we're supposed to have mountains, like really, really high mountains that are three kilometers high. But right now, you can't see them at all. Like, I'll try to zoom in for you. You can't see them at all. Why? Because we're having a dust storm. There's lots of storm. There's also dust from the Western Sahara in the air, and that's why it's so hot and there's nobody on the street just because it's so bloody hot okay the bread is fermenting and in 30 minutes i'm going to give it another stretch and fold so these are all the ingredients for my little salad a couple of tomatoes including this little weird one just look at this it's got this so strange an avocado i'm probably going to use half of it a few radishes and some lettuce and that is it so let's chop everything up Sausages are going to be ready in a minute, so I really, really need to hurry up. It's so difficult for me to make a salad for one person because I always, always make it for two. And it's so difficult to, you know, change all the quantities and think how much I actually need because yesterday I made way too much salad for myself because I, I just, I just couldn't calculate it. You know, I'm just not used to cooking for myself. Tree. Dancing while the spring's still here They don't make haste cause they know what's coming We try to wash away our broken years But it's so hard in the cold summer Okay, so now the sausages are almost ready So it's time to open that lid so that all the water can evaporate I mean almost all the water We still need a little bit for the kind of sauce to keep it nice and moist. And these sausages, by the way, are from the farmer's market. They're all organic, all pastured, grass-fed, and they are made of beef. Usually we buy pork, but this time we bought beef, so it's a little bit drier, but they're still very nice. And that's my salad, and I just have to dress it up. So now the next step is just adding some yogurt. And I usually put just around a tablespoon for one portion, but the yogurt is almost finished, so I'm just going to use all of it as organic yogurt. Jimmy, I'm talking! <laughs> it's just an organic, non-sweetened yogurt from Lidl. And then the next thing, of course, is adding some salt. Some black pepper. And then mixing everything together and the salad is ready. So now we just wait for the rice to warm up. I'm just going to start warming up the rice before Mr. Jimmy steals it from me. So, not really much. Again, I have no idea how much I need just for myself because I'm so not used to this quantity, but hopefully I'm going to get it right. I'm going to guess more or less like, like this. That should be enough for me. Okay, maybe like this. And I turn around and look who I find on the table, just totally enjoying myself. 
spread out on the table because she's so hot. I don't know why, but she always likes like this with the belly out. Kind of like a dog. Cats generally don't lie like that. <laughs> she's so weird. I think she learned it from Julieta. And she has a biting problem because apparently kittens' teeth grow up until 18 months. So <laughs> it's still growing and she still bites everything. And that's my lunch ready. Just one sausage. I left the other one for tomorrow. Some rice. And I probably overdid the rice a little bit, but oh well, I'm hungry. A huge salad and that's it. and I'm just having a tea right now and I'm about to go and uh, make dinner but first I need to finish editing my video so that I can export it while I'm cooking and I'm just having a cup of tea right now and it's a new tea that I got yesterday from my herb as always and it's from yogi tea and it's called woman's moon cycle and it's really cool it says it supports a healthy cycle it has lots of really great herbs for female health so I'm trying it out and I have to say, I don't know if it's going to help my cycle. Even though my cycle is actually already almost perfect, but I will tell you all about it a bit later on when I'm ready. But it actually tastes really, really good and I love it. Mmm, I've got some cinnamon as well, which is something I absolutely love. But it's really tasty if you're looking for a nice tea. With potential benefits, definitely try it out. Oh, you won't believe what just happened. My heart like dropped, seriously. So I just came back to the kitchen to shake the bread because I left it there to, to lie for 30 minutes to rest. Covered with a towel and it was already pre-shaped. And I found Jimmy sleeping on top of it. Literally my heart dropped. But luckily he was in between them so hopefully it's going to be alright. So the bread is alright. Okay. Oh, thank God. Let's shape it now. So I'm making dinner right now and as I said earlier on, I'm making that super special and easy um, Spanish stew with white beans. It's going to take a while to cook it, around 19 minutes, but it's worth it because, you know, there isn't really that much work. It just cooks itself basically for a long time and then I'm going to make enough for three or four days so I don't have to worry about my dinners for the next few days, which is great. So, I forgot to film the beginning, I forgot to show you what I was doing, so I'm just going to show you what's going on so far. So right now, I'm just cooking a few veggies in there. So I've got the white beans, a couple of bay leaves, um, half an onion, like the whole onion, like that. Um, around 100 grams of chorizo, and mine is the pastured one, the totally organic one from the farmer's market, and it's always best to use something like that. And also, three medium cloves of garlic. So all of this is going to cook for just over an hour, um, just to cook all the beans. And in the meanwhile, while all of these are cooking, I'm going to chop up the potatoes and the carrots, and of course, snack on, on some carrots while I'm chopping, because that's what I do, I love carrots. And then I also chopped up some onions already for later on. So there's half an onion, whole onion in there, and then these are going to be added later towards the end. Right, so the stew has been cooking now for one hour and five minutes and it's time to add the rest of the vegetables. It looks nice, really nice. So we're just going to add the carrots, the potatoes and the cabbage. So the next step was cooking that other half of the onion that I chopped up in a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And now that they're cooked after around 10 minutes, nice and soft, I'm going to just sprinkle some Spanish uh, what is it called? Smoked paprika, which is actually quite spicy, quite hot, and it has a really kind of very traditional Spanish taste. It's very common in their cuisine. And then I added it to the rest of the soup, mix it up, and now cook it for just five more minutes and it will be ready. I can't wait because I'm so hungry. So my dinner is ready and it looks absolutely beautiful. Look at this. It's so full of nutrients and so delicious. So I'm going to tuck into it right now. And I'm cooking bread in there. Look at this. It's going to be ready very soon. And I guess this is it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Today was kind of a long one, more like a what I ate today video plus a day in my life together. I hope that you like this type of videos. And I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.
And if you're wondering what the bread looked like, here it is. It's midnight, I just finished baking and now I'm going to go to bed. Mm, can't wait to try it out tomorrow morning for breakfast with soft boiled eggs. Mm, bread is life. Yeah.